was your quarterback? It's 91 degrees, 15 percent humidity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So relative. No, I don't know. Yet. <laughs> don't know. Are you closer to finding out than you were in, in spring? Uh, two practices closer. <laughs> Comment on the quarterbacks? What, yeah. what have you seen from them that's maybe different in the spring? Um, I love the competition that's going on. Um, I like, um, you know, I, there's, you know, they all got their things they do well. They got, like all of us, right, got our strengths and our weaknesses. I'm really happy with the, uh, you know, we've, we've kind of added a few things this year, and they've really kind of absorbed that information. Now it's just a matter of reps, and, you know, you don't know, we're in shorts, t shirts, so, you know, we get. But, you know, get through practice, get into some practices here, and get into a little bit of a grind. Um, you know, start you know getting some situations where you see who performs the best. But they've been, I mean, they've been awesome. They're very competitive. Does uh, Chris Clark being out change anything you were going to do with building a tight end in this? No, not at all. Uh -huh. No, I mean, I mean we've got some other guys who are pretty capable of that position. You know, Nate and Thomas Duarte, you know, Tyler Scott, uh, Colby. Um, so it's really been it's really been a lot of fun. You know, we've kind of. Going back to the old Joel Fourier days, right? When we had that big joker. Um, we've been put some things in we haven't been able to run for the last couple of years because of the lack of a guy at that position. Like what? So, like like what we call actually call runs and hand the ball off. Okay. Yeah. How much does that put him behind being out? Well, you know, it's, of course it is, right? But, you know, it's a pretty... Obviously, you guys know me, so you know how simple this offense is, right? <laughs> Can't be difficult. Uh, and he's been, you know, been in every meetings and... You know, checking things out, so he's going to be fine when he gets back. What have you liked that you've seen out of Baron Sharp at that wide position? Oh yeah, he's kind of flashing. You know, I mean that guy's. You know, he can run. Obviously, I know he's a he was a 200 meter guy in high school. I think now he. I think the spring was good because he was kind of like, you know, running around. Didn't know what to expect. I think he feels comfortable there now. So now he can start working on some of the skill sets to help us at that position. And we're going to need some help there. So I'm excited about him and Austin Roberts. First impressions of Sosa. What's that? Do you have any first impressions of Sosa? Um, yeah, I mean, I like okay, him, Bolu, you know, that whole that whole group, they've come in. And we don't treat them any different, you know, as far as how we go with our installs and what we're putting in and how we coach them. It's, we don't baby them at all. And if all those guys have jumped right in and already can see starting to contribute, you know, side by side with the Thompson. Yeah. Yeah. Still toying with kind of where Soso where Soso can contribute the most on the field. No, no, I don't know exactly. Where. Okay, yeah. he'll be that guy that we give the ball to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, I think all those guys got skill sets. It's really cool, and it's all, and you know what we're doing is is that they can play. You know, they can be in the backfield, out of the backfield, they can move to different spots. All right. Thanks, guys. Cool.